creator of the sun, the moon, the stars, and the earth. I am the reason you exist and why your mother went through childbirth. I created you in the image of me with ears to hear, legs to walk, and eyes to see. But no matter whatever it is I do for you, you shut me out so much and even if I open up the gates of heaven, you still will refuse to come to me. Each and every one of you is a blessing for me that is heaven sent. I give you opportunity after opportunity, chance after chance, and you still won't repent. All you want to do is honor the so-called public persona of a man called Dollar Bill who makes you raise prices of medicine when people are ill. Scientists have tried to make me seem contradictory trying to say that the earth was created from an idea called the Big Bang Theory. I made Moses save his people by part of the Red Sea. I wanted a creation who was perfect so I created you in the image of me. But even I didn't know that your current situation was what I was going to see. It seems to me that all of humanity has lost its sanity and now lives under Adam's theory, meaning that I must acquire everything not previously owned by me because I'm greedy. Instead of putting it in me, you place your faith in a car called Alex. You place your faith in a person who's now your ex and you still don't believe in me despite the fact that I made a woman pregnant without sex. See, the problem is that a car will break down during an emergency. An ex will let you down during that time of emotional dependency. And you seem to be happy with living in a world where material wealth seems to be the biggest complacency. Don't you know that I've been with you ever since prenatal infancy? I guess not, because you choose to have foolish pride. You'd rather be transformed like Darth Vader because you've been seduced by the dark side. And you seem to destroy all of your relationships because of the mental leprosy called jealousy. And in me, you no longer have any trust because you're too busy blaming me for the relationships that started out in us. All of you get mad at me because I don't show up at the time you feel I need to. Which tells me that whatever problem or problems that you're having, you don't believe that I will still see you through. I am the supreme being, and with your faith in me I should be seen, but only in the time of need do you feel that we need to be agreeing, and when I come to you and face your eternal reality, you turn the other way and start fleeing. Seeking eternal happiness with the distress of this mental earthly anguish, your first reaction in avoiding a serious distraction is to kneel down and pray. But when I ask you to do something for me, you say, I have to do it later, so there'll be a delay. You seem to have goals that will help you to establish some type of supremacy and you believe that the sky is your limit so you don't have a single limit of capacity which means that you don't have an urgency to come to me despite the fact that you know I can end your life with the quickest sentence. See, Laura Hill once said fantasy is what people want but reality is what they need and the reality is death and you have no idea when I'm coming to take your final breath. You'd rather be envious of people who will lead you down a path that to you is oblivious which means the troubles that you will endure will no longer be obvious. You want to store up treasures for yourself on earth, which is another form of gluttony, not realizing that the material things can be taken away from you with the quickest certainty. Some of you are people who enjoy being sloth, or in other words, lazy. Because when I ask you to walk with me, you say, uh, maybe. And that's crazy. All I want you to do is do things in remembrance of me before your time is up. One.